This is your CBS 46 News update. Good Friday afternoon. I'm Karen Greer. An Amber Alert issued in Harrelson County where investigators are looking for four year old Braden Dobbs. Investigators say his mother and another man took the boy from his father's house. It appears at gunpoint around six o'clock this morning. It happened after a fight in which the boy's father was shot. All three men convicted of killing Ahmaud Arbery will stand trial next week on federal hate crime charges. Travis McMichael withdrew his guilty plea this morning, hours after his father, Gregory, did the same thing. Jury selection in the trial against them, along with William Roddy Bryan, begins Monday. Duluth police issuing a warrant for an arrest of a man they say shot a man inside a Gwinnett County gun store. Police say gun lobby owner Charles Collins and an employee shot each other after an argument. A woman known to neighbors as Miss Patricia is a lucky woman today. She's alive and well after a tree crashed through her Atlanta home on Eisenhower Road. It happened overnight during the peak of some very heavy downpours. And let's get the latest on today's weather. Those downpours are hopefully out of here soon. Meteorologist Brett Campagna with that. The downpours are moving out and clouds will hang around this afternoon. The wind is going to kick in, so this is what it's going to feel like this afternoon and this evening, feeling like freezing by early this evening and then mid 20s by late this evening as that wind gusts 25 to 30 miles per hour. Overnight, the actual temperature falls into the mid to upper 20s, so another cold weekend ahead. Cold start on Saturday. Feel like temperatures in the teens to 20s Saturday morning. Saturday afternoon, eventually with a lot of sunshine, the actual temperature will get into the mid and upper 40s, but that is still quite chilly for this time of the year. Only 49 on Saturday. After starting below freezing on Sunday, it'll be near 50 in the afternoon, and it stays cool early next week. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News.